Good morning, all. Hope you are studying well. Now we will discuss about output devices. We have already discussed about uh, the I/O interfacing, I/O addressing, and the basic uh, principles behind input and output uh, unit. And input-output devices uh, can be called as peripheral devices. And all the main points we have discussed can be um, included under the topic output devices also. But now we are going to discuss about some of the devices that are used as output unit. There are several types of output devices as we have seen about input devices. But as per your syllabus, you have to study some of the important output devices such as monitors, printers, plotters, speakers and control devices. Monitors are also known as streams and printers, uh, there are several types of printers and uh, we have to study in detail about laser printer, inject printer and dot matrix printer. And uh, we will learn what is a plotter. It is similar to printer but it is actually for graphics. So we can call it as graphic plotter or simply we can call it as plotter. Then speaker and uh, the other control devices such as lights, buses, robotic arms and motors. Uh, you may be um, familiar with these type of control devices and buses are uh, usually used along with the quiz uh, competitions and uh, you may watch in the codition program uh, by um, pressing the buzzer uh, like that. Uh, or it can be used as a light but a light uh, control device. So these are used as output devices and uh, the figure also shows some of the output devices here. Today we will learn uh, more about monitors. Monitors are commonly called as visual display unit or VDU. And these are considered as the main output device of a computer. It forms images from tiny dots called pixels that are arranged in a rectangular form that can be uh, seen in the screen. The sharpness of the image depends upon the number of pixels. There are two kinds of viewing stream used for monitors. These are cathode ray tube that is CRT or we can have flat panel display. The CRT display is made up of small picture elements called pixels. The larger the pixels, the better the image clarity or resolution. That is, the, um, if you have more number of pixels, it will produce higher resolution images. It takes more than one illuminated pixel to form a whole character, such as the letter E in the word help. A finite number of characters can be displayed on a screen at once. The screen can be divided into a series of character boxes fixed on the screen where a standard character can be placed. Most screens are capable of displaying 80 characters of data horizontally and 25 lines vertically. This is a normal standard um, uh, screen uh, that can be uh, used to display 80 characters of data horizontally and 25 lines vertically. This may vary uh, as per the screen size. There are some disadvantages of CRT. Uh, it is actually uh, used uh, in the older days. Our uh, system and uh, the uh, TV, everything are uh, bigger um, as we are seeing today. So it will uh, large in size and it also consume more power to work. Instead of CRT, we can use flat panel display monitor. Uh, it refers to a class of video devices that have reduced volume, weight and power requirement in comparison to CRT. You can hang them on walls or wear them on your wrist. So it is lightweight and uh, also uh, it reduces the size then current uses of flat panel displays include calculators, video games, monitors, laptop computers and graphics display. 
And this is uh, again divided into two categories. One is emissive displays and the other one is non-emissive displays. Emissive displays are devices that convert electrical energy into light. For example, plasma panel and LED, that is light emitting diodes. Most of the um, new uh, systems are based on this plasma uh, technology or LED, that is light emitting diodes. And there are another type of displays that is non-emissive displays, uh, which, are, which use optical effects to convert sunlight or light from some other source into graphics patterns. For example, LCD, that is liquid crystal device. So these are the different categories of flat panel display monitors. Thank you all. We will continue with the output devices in the next class.